Hi guys, Colin here. So, Positive Grid. What can I say about these guys? They're producing some of the most advanced amp and effects modelling software the world has ever seen. They've got players like Ola England, Jeff Loomis, Rusty Cooley and Periphery on board, not to mention a few influential YouTube content creators. So that should speak for itself about the quality of the products that they are providing. I'm going to be taking a look at Bias Amp Desktop today, their amp modelling software which is compatible with all major DAWs. The first thing we need to understand about Bias Amp is the sheer scale of the customization on offer. If you've used other amp modelling software, you'll be familiar with being able to control the amp's front panel, the speaker cab and the microphone placement. Bias goes far beyond that, allowing you full control over valves, preamp, tone stack, power section, rectifiers, transformers and into meticulous detail over each of these different areas. Want a power section working single-ended rather than push-pull? You've got it. Don't like the sound of that transformer? Swap it out. Tune the EQ and gain parameters of your preamp, switch up your full valve complement or even switch it to solid state if you like. This enables you to create your own custom amplifier sound from the floor up and gives you the power over many parameters that until now have only been in the hands of amplifier manufacturers. Now that's all well and good but there will be many of you out there who are still cold to the idea of modelling and simulated amps. After all, no matter how good that simulation is, it's never going to be able to match a real amp. Well... Bias Amp's most impressive feature by far is Amp Match, which listens to the output of your real life rig and then tweaks the parameters of the simulation until it gets as close as it possibly can with eerily accurate results. Now, most of the amp matches that I've seen and heard have been of high-end or vintage amplifiers, marshals, messes, fenders, that sort of thing. And it replicates them so well that it's exceptionally difficult to tell a difference between one recording and the next. This, however, is what the software is designed to do. It's designed to replicate a plexi. It's designed to replicate a tri rec What happens if we try to match an amplifier that it's not expecting? How well can it match my Bagheera 333? Or my Marshall AVT? Or even the Hacker Gondolier conversion? The first step in this process is to create in BIAS a patch which sounds as close to your real amp as you can get it. This is a good exercise in itself for understanding your amplifier and the sort of sound that it gives. Here I have the setup for my Bagheera and it sounds like this. Now if I go to Amp Match, it'll prompt me first to sample the sound of bias. Then I switch the input to the mic from my amp and let it listen to that. And now it analyzes the difference between the two sounds, tweaking the 333 patch here to sound like the real Bugera. Now if I record two tracks, one from Bias and one from the Bugera and compare and contrast them, you can see how close this software gets to the real amplifier. Now let's have a look at the AVT. It's a solid state power section with one 12 AX7 valve in the preamp section and a very classic British sound. We'll try and match a light overdrive.
Massacre Gondolier isn't even a guitar amp. This is a super clean 60s valve amp salvaged from a portable record player. The valves are unconventional as well, one EZ80 and two ECL86s. These aren't even in production anymore and the only way to get them is expensive new old stock. It'll be fairly impressive if the software can match this amp. Now, all of these CSG amp matches will be available through Positive Grid's Tone Cloud service where you can find a lot of user and artist made patches for bias. So if you want to get my amp sounds, you can. Now, I'm one of these people who prefers a real amplifier, but what Positive Grid are providing here with bias is an exceptionally powerful studio tool. It's allowing you the freedom to match any physical amplifier so that you can have that sound on tap whenever you need it. Find a setting on your amplifier that you really like and you don't want to forget it? Match it. Your friend brings an amplifier over and you really love the sound? Match it. If your lifestyle doesn't allow you to crank an amp or if you have to record on social hours, if you've got the sound matched, then you've got no problem. This is another innovation that I'm extremely impressed with. Bias are also in the process of bringing out Bias FX, which is going to simulate effects pedals in the same way that they're simulating the amps, which I'm excited to see in action. Now, if you're wanting to find out more about Positive Grid and the stuff they're doing and what people are saying about them, then you can pop over to the website. The link to that will be in the show more description box under this video. Talking about this video, if you liked it, remember, you can subscribe. And if you subscribe, you'll see all the content that I'm going to be bringing out in the future. And I'm probably going to feature some more Positive Grid stuff in videos uh, to come because I've got lots of amp matches I'd like to try and do. And I want to show you those results here. Uh, I'm also on the social medias, uh, comments in the comments section below if you want to talk to me and um, yeah that's it for the stuff so keep it loud and I'll see you later.